This is Zach By for ESPN Radio 104.5 The Team and 104.5theteam.com. I am joined right now at Media Day by the defensive coordinator of the UAlbany Great Danes, Bernard Clark. Coach, thanks a lot for joining me. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Zach, for having me. What do you think of your team so far? So far, we're looking good. I mean, today was kind of a sluggish day because we put some different things in. When you start out slow, they tend to play a lot faster. When you start adding more defenses to them, they start thinking a little bit more. So you got to pull it back a little bit and then bring it forward. So we're connecting on all cylinders. The good thing about it, they're playing fast, and we're playing the way we want to play right now. You have a, a terrific linebacker back uh, in Michael Nicastro after a season-ending injury. What is his health status, and has he been able to move around in any semblance the way he was prior to the injury? He's moving around real well. Mike's doing a great job. He's coming back. The great thing about Mike is his presence on the field enlightens everyone else. That's the great thing about him because of how hard he works. He just makes everyone else work hard around him. He's that kind of leader who doesn't speak a lot, but his what he shows on the field really stands out. So he's good. He's running fast. He's doing well. Trying to pull him out of some stuff. It's kind of hard to pull the rings back on Mike because Mike always wants to go. But we're trying to pull him out of some stuff and slow him down a little bit to gradually work him back in because he, had on, he hasn't had on pads in almost a year now. Julian Cox was a guy that uh, caught some buzz last year, had some big games, and, mm-hmm. and at some points kind of popped off the page. Uh, and as as he was trying to get acclimated in his position how has he been in preseason and what are your expectations for him this season he's still the guy we're looking for there's no doubt about still is, Julian's still going to be a big part of our defense it may be a different role because the thing about it is he's also got Mike coming back that's who's contending with him more than anything else so him and Mike are kind of competing for the same position so it's going to be a little bit tougher for Julian this year but the thing about it, the way I look at it is it's not about who's starting at what position it's who are the three best linebackers that we have because the three best linebackers are the guys that are going to be on the field but that's how me and Coach Cattuso sees it more than anything else it's not about this guy this guy and this guy this guy plays Mike this guy plays Will it's about who are the best three guys are going to give us the best production while they're on the football field. And those are the guys we're looking at. The depth chart is only a starting point. The depth chart has nothing to do with what's going on during the season. If a guy's playing better during the season, that's what I tell guys all the time. Don't count your reps. Make your reps count. So if you're out there for one play, that means you got to knock a guy for one play to make the coaches recognize that you're out there on the field. So our guys don't count the reps. They make their reps count. Oh, part of the narrative uh, these past couple of years is Albany tries to you know, fully make this jump and get integrated into the CAA. And uh, it, it's been the conversation has been it's going to take a couple of years to, 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 to get up to that mm-hmm. level personnel-wise and get fully acclimated. Do you feel, at least from a defensive side of the football, that you guys are closer than you've ever been to, to, to being right there with the rest of the league on that side of the ball? I think talent-wise we are, but the problem is our maturity isn't there yet. We still got a lot of young guys. I mean, I, it was so funny. I was telling Coach, I was looking at the Stony Brook game last year, and I, I looked on the field, and I'm like, I got a redshirt freshman playing. Mike Linebacker, got a redshirt freshman playing. Sam Linebacker, we got a true sophomore playing defensive end. We got a true sophomore playing, you know, got a true sophomore playing corner. We got a true sophomore playing 